Hi, it's Penny. So some people say uh, Chinese prefer to put left uh, with uh, mm, 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 and that, 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 not good, not good. Well, I think that is right. But uh, usually we use it before we want to start our communication. For example, I found that some people around me, uh, when they want to start their first communication, but they will use the that to refer to the person he want to speak, but he forget her name, so you need some time to think about the name or the person he want to talk. So we use, uh, nega, 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 ah, Tony! So this uh, case we use often, but we, 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 we shouldn't use it when we uh, we have already started our com communication, but uh, when we need some time to think about to follow up our communication, what we say, mm, mm, yeah. But I, for me, I'm, I don't use it. Um, if I speak with my, my, uh, with a Chinese, but when I'm speaking English, I prefer to use it. Yeah, uh, yeah, because I couldn't to express myself better. So I'll use this leave to make me uh, take some time to think about that so no make me too embarrassed. So for example, um, I am Penny. Um, well, I think this are very maybe a little bit heavy because uh, most of the time, when I have an interview and the foreigners so we, we criticize me the way I'm doing that. So I don't know why this time people say that. I use that lip force it means racist. But I think foreigners, foreigners are very sensitive about that.